Hello, my name is Peter Saxton. I'm the supervisor of the Southeast Research Farm in Beersford, South Dakota, and I'm standing in front of a cornfield where we're looking at different cover crop treatments uh, that were seeded after oats last year. And we've seeded and compared radish pea mixture to a mixture with uh, included uh, winter rye and hairy vetch, which overwinter, and a control. So on this side, right behind me, is the radish pea mixture. This is a control, which has no cover crop. And over on this side, we had the vetch and the uh, uh, rye mixed with it. Now the, the main points here are the hairy vetch and the winter rye are going to overwinter. And so they'll survive and grow into the spring. The pea radish mix is going to winter kill. So it's not going to survive the winter. You're going to go into the spring without any competition from that. Of course, the control was no cover crop. What we see was in our years we've done this in the past, so we pick up about 8 to 11 bushel per acre in the corn crop when we have a radish pea cool season broadleaf cover crop versus control, no cover crop. And then where we have a heavy grass cover crop or a cover crop that overwinters, we haven't succeeded yet in getting to have a yield bump with that. And I wouldn't say that that can't be done, but I just say we haven't succeeded with it yet. So there's advantages to the winter rye and the hairy vetch in terms of keeping a living root system, but we probably needs more work with nitrogen management um, to make that uh, effective in our system. The radish and the peas, cool season broadleafs, they tend to break down quickly, cycle nutrients very fast. Radish is very competitive with weeds and relatively easy to establish, so we found that to be a good, for our environment and our situation here, we found that to be a good cover crop to follow, unless you're gonna do grazing. It's very high moisture content, and so if you're grazing, you want some more grass in the mix just because the cattle do better if there's more grass in the mix. If it's just brassicas, it's nutritionally good quality, but it's high moisture. They don't get the dry matter intake. So for a grazing mix, you want to have some grasses along with the radish and peas. But if it's not going to be grazed, in our circumstances, we've had the best luck with the radish pea mix, and we've picked up 8 to 11 bushel per acre.